Hello and welcome to another Brett Players video. This is going to be another how-to video and today we're going to look at installing the Concorde. So this is the Concorde historical pack. It uh, comes from the Riku.com website. So when you go onto their website, you'll actually go to the Flight Sim X or Prepare 3D aircraft. Go to various and you'll actually find it. So if I go back to so the main page here. So the top page. What you want is FSX, airplanes. I mean, you can get other stuff as well, but today we're going to do the Concorde aircraft, various. Concorde is the first one there. Hot download at the moment. It's going to be even hotter once you guys start working out how to install it into Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. So what you want to do is you want to press the download. It will take, okay, so you can either do it at 120, which takes a while, or if you've actually subscribed, you can do it at 4,000 kilobit per second because I've already downloaded it. And I downloaded this particular one back in November. So it's been working quite well. What you will get though is a Concord historical pack and it hasn't been updated since then. So back in uh, July. So this is the most light recent. You can double click on your pack. It is an exe file. All Riku website ones are a program to install directly. I will say yes. Now you're going to get um, English or French. Before I go on though, that's not all sites have this. This Riku website does have an auto installer. It will try and put it in a default Flight Sim X folder. If you do not have Flight Sim X, you can try and direct it to a default. Some of their install files will try and put it in another one called My Programs in under um, Program Files 86 x86 I think it is but this one if you do have flight sim x it is a lot easier because it will find it so yes we want to agree I'm going to reinstall it automatic if not go custom if you don't have flight sim x choose custom make a temporary folder somewhere direct all of your new aircraft to that folder now I don't have steam edition I have flight simulator x I go install it's already detected I'm going to actually install back over the top. Shouldn't be a problem. It'll just make sure everything's in the right spot. That'll take a moment. While that's installing, you can come up to get the legacy importer. I will have the link in the description for this. There are, so you'll usually get the descriptions first. My files go down and get the most recent. I choose manual because I don't have the mod max R manager anymore installed. Okay, it's only 2.1 megabytes, so it's not very large. So I will find that it'll pop into my downloads very quickly. And there you go. So what you want to do with this particular one is double click. So what you see all these files, you want to extract them to a temporary folder somewhere. And then you will use the msfs legacy importer.exe. Create a shortcut on your desktop, like I have up here. So I have already installed that. So they're the two that you want. Now that we've, okay, so we've downloaded that. Thank you. We have installed. Now you can either open the README or just press finish. This is for the Concorde other aircraft are very similar so if you were to go for one of these others you can click on it this is from the same website if it is 3d virtual con uh, cockpit uh, something you see it's um 3pd was it no yeah uh, p3d uh, favorable you can just go download and do the same thing and there's a whole bunch of them here uh, some don't come over unfortunately I've never had this V1 to work for me yet also links in my uh, videos such as this stream video I have original FSX aircraft links 
such as some payware one and some freeware ones. All you do is go through my videos, if you see an aircraft you like, click on the link, it'll take you straight to it, download it. Alright, so how to get the uh, Concorde in? We want to open up the Microsoft Flight Sim Legacy Importer. Double click. Okay, so we now have either select your Flight Sim X aircraft to import or select your Microsoft Flight Sim aircraft legacy or native. That's to modify them. So if you click on that and you go browse, you can choose whatever aircraft you already have in there. If you want to go back to the main menu, selecting FSX. So that's what we're doing for this one. If I click on it, it will automatically go to my Flight Sim X folder. This particular folder is under Program Files, Microsoft Games, Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's the default location. If you have done a custom install or you have got a file from some other website and you don't have Flight Simulator X, dump the files into that folder. Um, a lot of other ones just have a zip file and in that zip file is the uh, aircraft file or sometimes it's actually sim objects which you'll see here sim objects then it has airplanes and then it has the actual file so if we want the Concord you can see some of the others I've been trying recently some have failed unfortunately select the folder it'll automatically populate the name and information here then we want to select our Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 community directory just go to select because it is automat automatically finding it and hit import. Wait a moment and that will actually, there we go. So that's imported. Now, the first thing we need to do for all jet aircraft is to unfortunately disable the afterburners because they're not yet enabled in the new Microsoft Flight Sim of 2020. Now, what we want to do is we need to check the textures what textures are still BMPs and do they need to be converted? Uh, you will find that majority of textures that are still BMP are better off being in a DTS form. Now there's two versions you can use here. Image tools, I would start with this. If it still fails, go to this one. And that would be almost the default for most. All right, not the power of two. So sometimes, I see this one didn't come over. That might actually be, I wonder if that's the window. We'll try that anyway. Okay, failed to come over. I can't go any further with that. I'm sure I did that one, didn't I? Yeah, so that's the power two. All right, so it's not gonna show me anymore. Runway, we can actually have some controls here, but what I would probably do first is check that it actually works. Well, and you can bring in these, um, extract your, panels because I know this one does actually bring some of them in if you've seen some of my live stream or around the world uh, Concord videos and or streams they're now showing up and then you want to tick panel config and import them so extract them first so that this can actually find them now this is going to take a while and it may actually come up with some saying there's an error or it cannot find it is usually what it is if you have Flight Sim X, it seems to find them better. Uh, if not, well, not sure what you're going to be able to do with that if it's not installing it in the right directory. Unless you can create the directories and it puts it in. So that will take a while. Make sure your Flight Sim uh, 2020 is not running while you're importing them. If it is, you'll have to exit and come back in because they won't show up. As I said, it will take a while. So when it comes up here with conversion errors, you, the only option is to press enter. It may be that there are some that are not converting correctly, so you'll just have to pass by. Okay, now that that's finished, 
before you go on and fiddle around with, I would only be selecting the red ones, but before you do any of those, go and test the aircraft in Flight Sim uh, 2020 before you go and put any other uh, informational points and you can also go to enable full import mode and put in all the dials on the screen but I would always test it first okay so we've uh, extracted and then we've imported those so what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and do that now okay once you've loaded into Microsoft Flight Simulator go to your profile Go to your hangar and find the Concorde. Now I already had this one selected. You can see that there are multiple liveries. Okay. What we want to do is we want to have a look inside. Now the window is still not working, unfortunately, but you will have some dials that uh, in somewhat of a way do work. Mostly the engine stuff. The other stuff, I don't think the airspeed in knots works at all, and neither do any of the buttons. So this is going to be an outside only, pretty much, uh, plane. Uh, where did I go there? I went up, up too high, did I? Somehow I got out. Okay. Alright, so what you want to do is you actually want to test it. So, we'll go here and we will take off find a long runway the destroyer still flying around he was flying with me today in the um, Concord set as departure you want a long runway you don't want one of the short ones you may not actually make it when you do load into flight sim you're going to want to uh, allow the aircraft to taxi out, the engines will start up. If you don't let them start up, you won't have enough thrust to take off. We won't be able to fly from inside. Now you can see the front wheel seems to be dug in. What we might need to do is, actually I think we are, because I think that is causing the drag. So when we go back into the legacy importer, we will click a few more buttons and this is what you'll do with some aircraft but you always test it here if it is working you can avoid doing any more things like the F-22 if you do other things it then ruins the flight model so there are some things that are finicky and some are not and I should actually be able to take over here can't see anything inside right, I had my throttle all the way up now as you can see that front wheel is digging in and I think it will fail to take off. We also do not have information over here which is what we will do in the next thing. So we flaps one, so it just brings that window down. Front you can see it going down there. And I think this is where most people have trouble. They've imported it, they might have even done the panels but they have trouble taking off. Now I'm going to try this. The front wheel is digging in a lot. I still seem to be getting a fair chunk of... Yeah, now see I should be over 200 by now. Well, we've got another jet coming in on the other side. Hello to you. We might be able to take off. Now, see this? Having trouble taking off. We'll make it though. Right over the top of the point of flight. Very good. Now front wheel is staying down. It's the same as when I first tried it, if you've seen my videos. And I'm on full throttle now and I'm not getting enough to increase. So what I would suggest you do is you okay, so you know it works and uh, but it's not working properly. So quit out, you had, you've done the test, you know actually stuff has come in, and you do this with each every plane. You test it first, you see if it actually comes in, because some of them don't even show up in your hangar and you know that their files are not right. Okay, when you get to your um, main menu here, quit the desktop, because we need to do some modifications outside of Flight Sim. So you let that exit, 
bring the legacy importer back up. Now you'll have things like the systems and lights and stuff. You can actually convert them. I did notice none of those actually came up. So we're going to convert, which actually was afterburner and reflame, a reheat, which would be nice. Now on the runway, we want to toggle these two red ones. It's going to, I think, stop that wheel from <clears throat> coming up. Excuse me while I clear my throat. Now what we want to do is we want to come up to the initial go to enable full import mode alright so aircraft config will be split yes we actually do know that because it does work but we don't want to go and do what I did in my F14 video and click everything and go convert so if it's orange we're not going to be doing that we, if it's red we can actually do the fuselage length I think it actually says you've got to um, adjust it manually if you need to all right, cockpit, I do want fuel quantity, airspeed, RPM, throttle levers, flap, uh, select level. Thank you, yes. And that's all I need to do. Now again, like I said, in some of these, you will not need to do them. Others, you may need to do more textures. I had one particular aircraft that required 1300. To be done it doesn't take too long but sometimes they do all right now what you want to do is you want to start up your flight sim again okay one further step I noticed with the uh, Concord variant is that under flight model the um, contact point between the landing gear points uh, is uh, needs a fixing so fixed contact point duplicates We'll give that a run and we will try how it goes. Okay, so when you load back into Flight Sim uh, after doing the uh, little contact thing, you can actually see that the front wheel now is sitting above the ground like it's supposed to, which tells me it's probably actually going to retract like it should. There you go, and steering correctly as well now. So what we do, I think all four are ready to run. We'll give the final check. not blasting flat out there. Okay, put on a level, park brake, off, put brake on, the park brake level was off. Alright, 60% and whoop, 70%. Alright, give it a heap. see already that that front wheel is not dragging uh, down on the ground anymore and we are actually getting faster than we were previously. Like somebody's flying just over the end of the runway there. If I turn the name tag on, I did. Stunt plane. By doing that, oh, we're actually already pulling up. And ease it up nice and easy. Alright, works fine. The C front gear does go up, so you do need to do that little uh, part of um, the orange one. Most of those I would leave unless there is an issue that you know you need to do. Now we're actually uh, powering up quite well, and we can do a decent climb. And that's how you import the uh, Concorde, and it's very similar for doing that with other aircraft. Sometimes though, you do need to trial and error, and I've had to go in and out now just to make this video four to five times, just to see which part I need to click next and which part I don't. And that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe on my videos. Come and check out my other videos. I'd love to help you, and you can actually join my Discord. Right there.